In this tutorial, we will see two of our plugins, ResUp Resize and Enhance. Let's start with a quick explanation of what ResUp is and what it can do for you. ResUp will enhance the quality of your video or increase the resolution of your image sequences without the loss of quality or introduction of temporal artifacts. ResUp provides the needed mix of state-of-the-art video image processing augmented with machine learning techniques. ResUp contains two plugins, ResUp Enhance to increase the image quality, see new details that you didn't know were available, and ResUp Resize, which will allow you to upscale your video without loss of quality. Let's take a look at ResUp Resize first in Adobe After Effects. Note, the workflow is different in OFX Host, so we'll see two workflow examples. In this AE workflow example, we will see how to scale two times from HD 1920 by 1080 to UHD 3840 by 2160. Note that our project is 32-bit, which is best if source is YUV and our viewer is set to 100%. Let's make a new project with our HD Notre Dame footage and go to Composition, Composition Settings, and we enter 3840 for width and it will calculate the height to 2160 pixels. So we just set the output to UHD. Next thing we do is add ResUp Resize to our footage. We can set the output dimension in the effect controls and we see that we have a sort of action menu here. We can set to input layer size, set zoom or set comp size, or just set to comp width. We can choose set to comp size and you can see it changed the dimensions to the dimensions I set in the composition settings, 3840 by 2160. You can also just enter those values manually if you choose to do that. It doesn't change the size of the footage until I go back to the action menu and apply the zoom by selecting set zoom or enter it manually. You can see that our footage is now UHD 3840 by 2160. We can see the difference between just scaling the footage to this size using the host application and using ResUp Resize if we choose Linear. That's like using the Transform mode in the After Effects. Mitchell is just slightly better than Linear if we scale down. Lansos is a reference to normal upscaling filter without AI. Now we can compare using the two SuperRes filters. These are the ones that use AI, and you see that when we choose SuperRes and SuperRes Edge Smoothing, we get two more menus, Deconvolve and Enhance Details. These extra controls allow us to finesse the results. Enhance Details allows you to increase the amount of detail until it's too much. You use Edge Smoothing at 1.0 if the source has compression artifacts that get too amplified, as in this example of Notre Dame. We can also look at the pre-process setup. At the beginning of this tutorial, I mentioned that the footage is YUV and project is 32-bit. To avoid any color clamping, it's best to check the Compute Over Range checkbox. The default settings for Compute Over Range should be good in most scenarios. This should work well for most YUV footage. It's set to minus 0.5 to 1.5 by default, which is good normally for 10-bit video sources. If you have noisy footage and you see artifacts caused by the noise, for instance, you can choose Sources Noisy. A denoising filter will be applied prior to zoom. You can see if you choose this option, you have additional controls for Radius, Threshold, and Suppress. Note, if it's really noisy footage, you may want to just apply our denoise plugin as a separate pass prior to res up resize so that you don't scale up the grain. You also have a source as soft option that you can choose if your footage is soft. This is a sharpening filter and you can see that you have the controls radius, threshold, suppress, and strength. Now we can go back to the composition, composition settings, and see if we change it to digital cinema 4K, which is 4096 by 2160. We uncheck the aspect ratio box and enter 4096 by 2160. Now we can go to the action menu and set to comp width and set zoom. You can see that it's clipping the height since my aspect ratio is different. We can use these handy offset controls to offset the footage to include features that we may want to include, like the Tower of Notre Dame in this case. 
Now let's take a look at what the OFX workflow looks like. In order to see the workflow for the OFX version, we will use Autograph, but you can apply this information to any OFX application. I've imported the HD footage and I can make a composition. I will make the composition my desired output size. In this case, UHD 3840 by 2160. We also want to make sure the composition frame rate matches our input frame rate. So in this example would be 29.97. Now we want to make a blank canvas or constant, which is like a solid, to apply our plugin to. We select the composition and then select the plus sign and constant. Here in Autograph, we need to add a step. We go to Source and Output Format and change the default output format to Composition Format. Now we have a 4K output source and we can go and add a new modifier. We can scroll down and choose Res Up Resize. Now we can go to Get Color Source, which indicates to the plugin which footage we want to upscale. We choose our input clip and you can see that it's the original 2K size in the 4K composition. We can go to where it says fit to canvas size and select this option. Now you can see that our original 2K clip has scaled to the 4K composition size using Res Up Resize. We can change the filter settings, pre-process the source footage, or any of the other things we saw in the previous After Effects example. The other difference is here in Source Pre-Process in OpenFX, we have two more controls. Gamma Space to know primarily if we're in linear space and host is pre mold Now we can see ResUp Enhance. We will go back to After Effects to see the workflow. Note, the workflow for OFX will be the same for this plugin. Here we have this elephant footage and we can add ResUp Enhance. We can start with the method on bypass, which is doing nothing and is useful to see what the other processes do. Now I can select method 5 res enhance DNN. This will enhance the sharpness, contrast, and detail of the image using AI. Going through the methods, number 1 is like our smooth kit sharpen plugin, a sharpening method that will sharpen without any ringing. Number two is the unsharp mask. You can see that all of the controls change. We can increase the radius to exaggerate so you can see what it does. I will make it 10 radius and make the amount 500. Here where it says post mode, I can change to halo reduction. This is just to show you that the post mode interacts with the method. The blend is blending with the original. Merge is useful if you're getting a black line on the edge that you sometimes get when you sharpen an image. This is based more on the contrast of the pixels, where the halo reduction will help reduce the little halo you sometimes get around the edge because of the luminance. There is an amount slider for each of these controls. Now we can look at the method 3 Deconvolve, which is an alternative to the Res Enhance method 5. It removes blur and sharpens a bit. We can also look at method 5, Res Enhance DNN. They both have a deconvolve amount slider. They both remove some of the blur, but only method 5 enhances the details. Note, if your original footage is too dramatically damaged to start with, detail enhancement will not work well for it. You will want to use method 3, deconvolve, in that case. Or if that doesn't work well, or method 1, as this can have difficulties with sources that are too compressed. The max noise option can be checked to limit how much you want to push the limit. Max noise might be particularly useful on faces, so the blemishes are not over sharpened. There are controls to determine the amount, and max deviation is the amount each pixel is allowed to change. There is also an enhance contrast button that we can check with four different modes. Lift, Global, Local, and Maintain. There are amount sliders under each of these options to adjust the contrast of the image. Let's look further at this example of the elephant footage. We can use method 5, and then if we want to make this a lot more punchy, we can pre-filter by going to the pre-process menu and checking the overrange box so we don't clip the blacks and whites since it's also YUV footage. If it doesn't look natural enough, I can add halo reduction as a final step. This has been a basic overview of ResUp Resize and ResUp Enhance.